KBOI 2 News this morning. And welcome back at 644. The odds of landing a job in a competitive city such as Boise certainly can be a daunting task. 30,000 Idahoans are looking for work right now, but how do you compete for employment if you've got a record from federal prison? Natalie Hurst spoke with two former prisoners. They've worked hard to turn their lives around, but say there's still one thing holding them back. Come on, baby. This family time at Ann Morrison Park is very different from where Nikki Thiel was eight years ago. I don't introduce myself as a felon or, you know, it's not the first topic that comes up because it is still shameful. Sons Keegan and Zach say it wasn't easy seeing mom sent to federal prison after her 2008 drug conviction. I didn't, don't think I actually talked to her until like the first two months of into school. After a year and three weeks behind bars in Washington, Nikki was sent back to Idaho and back to square one. It's really like if you can just imagine just picking up and landing somewhere with no job, no clothes, nothing to your name and trying to build from there. A void the office who prosecuted Thiel and others wants to turn around. With no special funding, First Assistant U.S. Attorney Rafael Gonzalez joined forces with the court probation and the federal defender and launch start success through assisted recovery and treatment. It's relevance fueled by an increasing number of prisoners being returned to Idaho. In 2013, that number was 170. In 2014, 186. Last year, 227. You're checking both uh, drug use, you're checking to see if they're current on their financial obligations. The probation office is also intimately involved with uh, seeking and maintaining employment for uh, the reentry participant, as well as, uh, as well as housing and who they're associating with. And changing behavior that often begins where offenders return to, along with their mistrust of the legal system. You're not going to see anything the first time you go, but it's that second and the third and the 11th time when you show up that you're like, wow, there is love here. Nikki, now 44, has a full-time job taking care of adults with disabilities. As part of the START program, the probation office works with employers to find former inmates jobs. Personally, they knew they knew my story, they knew who I was, they knew what I've been going through. You know, and that right there was like one of the biggest changing points for me. David, who asked we hide his identity, has completed START. He says meetings twice a month with the court, probation, and community defender kept him in check. But participating is only half the story. They still have a long battle ahead that often starts with society's perception of them. I feel like I stick out like a sore thumb. I feel like I am like this big old arrow just pointing at me, you know, and it really sucks because, you know, this happened when I was a kid. David's been in and out of the penal system since age eight. In fact, a 2001 meth trafficking conviction sent him to the federal prison system for a decade. He's now 35 and holds a full-time job as a mechanic, but finding a way to support his family wasn't easy. Nobody wanted to hire me. They look at my past, they look at who I was, and they said, no, I we sorry. The U.S. attorney in Idaho, Wendy Olson, says her office is working with the U.S. Department of Justice to identify those barriers with reason. The reality is that most people who are sent to prison are going to come back into the community, the vast majority of them. Which is exactly why 23 states have started the ban the box movement. In fact, seven of those states have removed this conviction history question from private employers' job applications. Let's look first at whether or not someone is qualified to do a job, whether they have the skills necessary, whether they're willing to work hard. But here in the GEM state, private employers can still ask that question up front. Come on, Come on Wiggly. Come here. A question that Nikki says still leaves her feeling shackled by her past. Don't define somebody by what they write on a piece of paper because that's not really their story. You know, that's just a chapter. It's not their whole story.